Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Convos and Coffee. This is Pastor Pauline. I am so glad to be with you this morning and to share with you a little bit what is on my heart. Um, now, this year in our church, it has been declared the year of freedom and that um, the way we walk in freedom. And the verse that I'm using this morning is Galatians 5. And verse 1, why do we have to stand firm in freedom? For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Now, freedom is a word we use so often and so loosely. Uh, it's Friday, freedom. I'm going on vacation, freedom. The kids are going back to school, big freedom. It has become a cliche, really. And um, we use it so loosely that we don't realize that it is a very important word. But for the next couple of minutes, let's talk about the real freedom that we enjoy that Christ has bestowed upon us. And it's what I just read. It's for freedom that Christ has set us free. Now, a lot of you may be more, be more, a lot more familiar with the word, with the verse that says, um, "Stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made us free, and be not again entangled in the yoke of bondage." And most of you are in, uh, are, are familiar with that because it's from a version that you're so um, acquainted with, but. This means do not take it for granted or treat it lightly because we can never get this kind of freedom from anyone else but from the Lord Jesus. It is not something that is tossed around and we can pick it up in a grocery store or you can order it from Amazon and it comes online. Freedom is unique. It is only given by Jesus. Ask someone who has been in jail how it feels to be behind bars. However, one day their lawyer comes in to pay a visit and delivers some information that goes like this. By the way, I was able to secure your release and you're now free. But, there's a but, stay out of trouble. Do not get back into that same environment again, or you will be back in jail. That means you will forfeit your freedom. Now we are in, or we were in the same situation before Christ died for us to set us free. And you know, if I was the only one today, he would have died anyways, just to set me free. And if you were the only one, he would have done the same. He would have died to set us free. So freedom for Christ or from Christ is not partial. It's for everyone and for anyone who would receive it. And this is not something that Jesus does for us. And a few years later, he would double back and reminds us that he did set us free. So we're going to have to do something for him. And this is how the world works. You know, you get something and it's not for nothing. But this freedom that the Lord Jesus gives us, it's totally free. And that's why it's called freedom. So today I am encouraging you to go back and read Galatians chapter, chapter 5. It doesn't matter what version you read it from. Read it and see what it says. Galatians 5 and verse 1. It is for freedom that you have been set free. It is for freedom that you have been set free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to the yoke of bondage. I want to tell you today, we're no longer in slavery. We're no longer in bondage because the Lord Jesus had set us free. And if you're listening to me this morning, just out of curiosity, or you run into it on Facebook or on YouTube, and you never 
got that freedom from the Lord Jesus, there is a way. Give your heart to him, and he will release this freedom to you for no, no reason at all. And he's not going to double back and take it back from you. So the Lord bless you and keep you this morning. Stay free and stand firm because God has something wonderful in store for you. The Lord bless you and keep you until we meet again. And we will talk some more. Have a good day.